Impactful Media Training Technology. Hi, this is Fred from Obedia, and I'm going to show you a quick did you know tip. Uh, did you know how easy it is to rename your MIDI tracks? Well, I'll show you. Uh, what I've got here are three tracks of MIDI playing the same instrument, in this case, Battery 3. So, this track here, although it says Battery 3, that's well and good, but what is it really? Well, what it happens to be is a kick drum. So I want to name it that, and I want this area here to have that same name. So all I need to do is double click the track name area here, type in the word kick, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and then press enter. And then you see that gets renamed kick. Now this one here I think is a hi-hat. Yep. So I'm going to name that hat. Again, hold down the shift key and hit enter. Now that's called hat. And this one should be snare. Excellent. So I'm going to rename that track snare. Again, hold down the shift key. While holding down the shift key, hit enter. And now it's called snare. Now, one other thing you might want to experiment with in Cubase is the colors. If this little icon up here is on, like that, we can recolor any track. Now, for some strange reason, I like all my drum tracks to be yellow. So I'm just going to recolor all these tracks yellow. Just simply click in the color bar here and select your color and then click. Now this way, as the project grows, um, as I add bass and guitars and vocals and things like that, I can give those different groups of instruments um, or uh, audio tracks different colors uh, so that I can keep track of what's going on. And that's a quick tip for Cubase 4. Obedia, training technology.